I tell you right now, if um, all you freaks I knew from high school, like guys and gals alike, if you were into blood play back then, boy oh boy, you're going to have to shift your trousers and cross one leg over the other one during this film because you're going to have a good time. Let us create a map that will guide us into the heart of darkness. And today we have <laughs> Crimes of the Future. So long story short, Crimes of the Future is the newest film by David Cronenberg. Uh, you might have heard of Cronenberg. I mean, any of you younger people out there would have vaguely recalled it from Rick and Morty references and whatnot. But this man is basically like the godfather, the OG guy who brought us body horror throughout decades of horror. Most notably so is his film The Fly, Old Jeff Daddy Goldblum. Granted, of course, he's done more than that since then but that's one of his most notable films funny enough his most recent film hasn't been since 2014 when he did maps to the stars i think so it's been a minute he's done short films since then but i was kind of surprised to see that i mean while he has an established filmography he hasn't like done a film for a minute there's technically a cast of three the two main stars funny enough people that i i know from their filmography, you'll probably know once you hear who they are, but Viggo Mortensen? Who is that? Oh, I don't know, just fucking Aragorn? <laughs> like, you got Aragorn here, old man, but here he is. You've got uh, one of my personal favorites, and I'm probably gonna butcher the pronunciation as I am wont to do, Lea Sedo, who most recently I think would be featured on my channel not in a movie, but from my playthrough of Death Stranding, but Lea Sedo is in this. And honestly, one of my other, I think, underrated favorites but she was most recently featured on my channel in the film spencer we have christian stewart so granted as always there are more actors but they are the core three with technically the two main characters being vigo's character and lea sedo's character so basically crimes of the future the long and the short of it is it's all about like voluntary surgery more or less is there the the body the human body as we know it is starting to change and develop new things and alter itself and I guess to pe people are reacting to it differently in the future. Our main characters, uh, Vigo's character, Vigo Mortensen's character is wanting to, he keeps cutting into himself and taking things out and, and altering things inside of him and just basically keeps doing surgery to himself on the inside and out. And Leia Sedo's character is his partner and his artistic partner. And she is the art. She's part of the artist. They've kind of connected, and they turn this into a, a a visual art display of sort. It's it's a lot to get into. It's it's to the un to 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 your normal everyday average person. It's pretty fucking weird. But you know, I've seen weirder, and I've seen crazy batshit insane stuff in films. So for me, it's just another you know Sunday afternoon jaunt on the street that is cinema from the top down. Pros as always, uh, great performances. Whether it's a main character, a side character whoever everybody embodies their character very well performances are good even if the scene is as i'll discuss soon kind of an awkward and weird scene the actors embody that they bring it forth they put it forward solid direction i have no qualms with like literally like directing cinematography i mean it's not really anything inspired or visionary in my opinion but i mean props it it looks the part i feel the vibe of this like dystopian weird future and what society is kind of evolving or depending on how you look at it devolving into and i believe this world and it's it's weird and it's, it's such a weird world that's not really fleshed out i think the best part about this film is there are actually really solid science fiction concepts that are brought forth to the table as it were whether i got there's a con to that as well but i will say that's the my favorite part of this film were the moments where there's both the moral the moral and scientific questions regarding what happens in this film are intriguing and it sparks some moments of intriguing dialogue and conversation as the characters discuss you know what's going on what they were going to probably do the implications of that what it means for the world the human body society and all that so that's when the movie is at its most interesting in my opinion where i think it falters which is just kind of overall i think it 
it takes too long in trying to make its points. I get what point it's trying to make after watching it, sitting with it for a couple days, thinking on it, and like really thinking about how I feel about it. Like I get the point that it's making it is, is a commentary on humans, the body, society, evolution, science. Yeah, plenty to dissect there, plenty to talk about. The movie takes its sweet ass time getting to that and doesn't really spend enough time fleshing out and really discussing and evolving those concepts. Some scenes in the film last a little bit too long for my taste. I get it, there's some scenes that are supposed to be awkward, but there's conveying awkward and there's just a scene carrying on too long, actors almost seeming as if, you know, they're playing their character, but almost seeing as if they're not even sure if the camera's still rolling. It's just, I don't know. It's not enough to make the shots bad. I'm just kind of sitting there like, what are we doing right now? Can we can we move on to the next shot right now? Or is this are we gonna still stay right here? And just kind of meander a little bit. As I said, great cool concepts that I would have loved to have seen explored more were not. I would have loved if the characters talked about it more, if what occurred in the film, I don't wanna say was less artistic, but for all the art and the philosophy that goes into the performance aspect of this and what they're trying to transform all this into, it would have been nice if they still also discuss the rest of what they're scientifically bringing to the table and the characters, their own agencies and narrative. Like everything was there, but it just wasn't fully fleshed out and developed enough. I think what drags this film down the most, what feet are to Tarantino, the body, blood, and gore possibly are to David Cronenberg. I don't know, I thought it was gonna be worse. When it comes to body horror, right, I'm expecting human centipede, I'm expecting a tusk, I'm expecting for like any forced body horror is usually what makes me squirm. Going into this, I knew it was voluntary, but I thought it would be significantly more disturbing. I think the craziest thing that there is, is shown in the trailer. That's good, this guy, that's it. Aside from that, there's some like, kind of like, you know, gory moments, but it's just like controlled surgical gore. It's not, this movie was not what I thought it was going to be. It ended up being less of a body horror film and more of a commentary, social commentary on what we as a society hold ourselves up to in regards to like societal beauty standards, but also evolution and then the human body and its importance or lack thereof just all these really fascinating concepts take a back seat to the there's there's a lot of blood play in this film if it, to the uninitiated blood plays when you have there's never any graphic sex scenes that are displayed in this film but there's a, a lot of like uh, uh blood, just kind of reveling in it, what we're doing and just like oh you're cutting into me and i'm fucking just like everybody's just really enjoying themselves in this film. And I think the film suffers because of that. I don't care if you wanna add that to the film, cool. That establishes part of this is not just an artistic endeavor, but it's that it's that desire, that physical, like, uh, like I like this, this is what this is about now. It's a society where apparently people can't feel pain, but they get sexual pleasure now from cutting and from what would normally be the pain, which they don't really 100% describe that either. People are just, so much cutting in this film, which could be triggering, I guess, but the bottom line is blood. There's just blood and there's just cutting and little nicks and all this and people are getting off on it. And like, I, it, it pulls away from the plot. Like it's, it, I know it's supposed to be part of the plot, but <laughs> by the end of the film, you realize what the film is actually about. And you're like, well, goddamn, like I would have loved to explore that if we weren't so busy reveling in the art of it all and the the feel of the blade on my skin and the, the feeling I get when we talk about you cutting into, like, Jesus. I always say this, I always preface the review part of this. Is it a bad film? No, it's not a bad film. Is it a good film? It's, it's, it's a decent film. I have no desire to watch this again, but if you, if a, dear friend of mine was like, I have to watch this film, come with me. I'd, I'd watch it, but I didn't gain anything from it. I think it's a film that has good performances, solid direction for what's there. There's some really, really interesting science fiction concepts. And I mean, there's some definitely unsettling imagery and visuals that I like because I like when movies can unsettle me or make me feel things, whether it's, you know, drama, comedy, emotion, uh, horror, anything like that, but I feel like the, this film's best concepts take, like I said, they take a backseat to the, to the, 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 the fetishizing, 
the the sexual nature or even deviancy of it, which I guess is part of the point. Maybe that's the whole what the whole film's supposed to be, is that oh my god, here are these really hard hitting questions, but everybody's so worried about getting off and just these weird new standards of beauty. Maybe that's what the film was supposed to be a commentary on. But if that's the case, pick a lane. I don't know. This is my personal opinion. I think Crimes of the Future is worth a low, like a low three out of five. It's below average for me. Again, not a bad film, not inherently good. It's decent. I was expecting more and I was really hoping for more too. I was hoping for like a dark, twisted ride into body horror and science fiction, the human psyche and all, but no, I just feel like, again, great concepts, wasted ideas, not poor execution. All these different ideas are, are, are all executed fairly properly on screen. There's just not enough focus on any one of them to really satiate my inner narrative needs. But I'll leave it at that. That was my review for Crimes of the Future. Thank you guys and gals so much for watching. Stay tuned as always for the next episode of, if I ever get a time to keep seeing movies, whatever I review. Goodbye, travelers.